Here's another example, the numbers 4, 9, 16, 25. We'll start as usual by finding the first difference, and then we'll see that it's 5, 7, and 9, so if we don't have a linear sequence. We'll try the second differences, and you see they're constant. So that means we're going to have a y equals something x to the power of 2. Now we just have to figure out the coefficient of the x squared, and as, as per the rule in the previous video, you take that number, that second difference, and divide it by 2. So that's just x squared in this case. So now we have to figure out what the rest of this is going to be. And really we're just figuring out the linear part. So we're going to take our sequence. And we're going to find the difference between that and the rule as we have it so far. So at the moment x squared is x to the power of 1. Uh, 1 to the power of 2, sorry, is 1. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 3 squared and 4 squared. And we're going to subtract that and find what we have left over that we need to make up for. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 5, 7, and 9. So this is the extra part that we're going to have to account for in this part of the equation. So this will be just the, the linear bit that we add on. So we'll check what the differences are each time here. And it's going to be 2, 2. So this is constant. So it's just going to be a linear part here. So uh, the rest of our equation is going to be plus 2x, and then uh, what is left over is all we'll have to add on. So we'll compare what we've got so far. So this is the, the differences here, and our 2x accounts for 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and that means that the linear part of our equation leaves us with, well, we're lacking 1, 1, 1, 1. So just going to need to add a plus 1 onto the end of our equation. So that's the end of it, using the same rule, uh, just for another example. Just a further note, so we're done now, but we can look at this part. If we factorize this, so if you're familiar with factorizing quadratics, if we factor this equation, you'll see you'll get the same bracket twice. So um, it can be written as x plus 1, the whole thing squared, because it's that repeating bracket. So this is what you call a perfect square in a quadratic. And the reason this is interesting is because if you look at the the, um, the most basic quadratic series, so this is just your most basic parabola as well, if you think about the graph, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. And if we compare that to the equation we had, so that's your x squared equation, if we compare that to the equation that we've just found, you'll see that that is just one step ahead of the x squared equation. So instead of starting at 1 squared, it starts at 2 squared and then Instead of having 4, it's 9 instead. So it's just one step ahead. So uh, that's just an interesting little note. And you wouldn't see it in the original form, but if you factorize it, you'll see it.